So I've got one of the prototypes for the new Stingray bag here, and right off the bat you can see there's some extra space on the side so that this could accommodate a Sound Devices 888. This is a Sound Devices 833, you can see it still fits really nicely, but more space on the sides is something people have been definitely asking for. Next really obvious thing here is that there are two screw mounts mounted straight to the bag. We've got a cell phone here, a shark fin there, the possibilities are endless, something that a lot of people would love. I think there are endless possibilities for. The back of the bag actually comes up slightly less high than before. If you've ever used a six or an eight series, you know that trying to get to these little faders sometimes can be a pain. And now that this is above the back of the bag, it's so much easier to reach them. In the front, there's a hole, an opening in the front pouch that you can actually feed cables into the bag, whether you have extra receivers, antenna distro, BDS. Now you can go straight into the bag with them instead of outside and then back in, it's so much cleaner. And then if you look at the side here, you can see the color of the bags changed to this sort of speckly silver, which is something I really like. I like the solid black, I like the speckly silver, they're both great. So, and then last thing I wanna point out here is the kickstand. It's not mounted to the bag because that would interfere with the mesh on the back, but it's still, you can slip it in the side pocket. Anything with a corporate or interview, you just kind of lean the bag forward. It really, it works fantastically well. Overall, I'm loving this. I can't wait to see where this thing goes next and with the release model. Thanks so much.